actually treated absolutely every time that the officers out of the car engaging our community we like that. And, and you know, we showed you these scenarios to show that it's not perfect. It's not perfect technology, and I don't think you're going to find perfect technology. Uh, maybe someday we'll have virtual, you know, 3D technology that will show everything around us. Uh, but uh, at this point in time, we just don't have the technology there. But it is another tool that we can utilize to uh, to get a different perspective uh, of any situation. And, and as we showed uh, in the videos, you're looking. You have to look at multiple cameras, and so. Now we have cameras that are in the cars on the dash. We have cameras that are going to be worn by the officers, so you can get two to three different perspectives uh, of any particular scene, uh, as opposed to just one that we're getting from the, uh, the dash cam at this point in time. And I know, I know you mentioned earlier that uh, part of the uh, part of the reason too to get cameras is that the public has cell phone cameras, and a lot of times it seems bad picture when you see the lawsuits probably. That's, that's one aspect. I think it's just overall accountability. And we're, you know, we expect to be videotaped. Every single one of my officers, almost every call that you go on the street, somebody has a cell phone video because of technology with YouTube and, and Facebook and everything else you see across the country. We're doing it, so why should we not be doing it as well to record the true accounts of what's going on? So um, that way it's, it's in control that we have a process. If you videotape us on the street, you're not obligated by any means to give us the entire video. We will give the entire video. That is the, the whole process. So that's it's the full accountability versus selective accountability. Press any other questions? Yeah, I mean, At the risk of playing devil's advocate, where is the and please forgive the tone of this, where is the guarantee that the full video would be turned over. Because I, I mean, like with myself, every time I, I'm on social media, I see, I look at videos on social media, especially the ones that catch the police. My first question is, what happened before the situation that it escalated this far? Who, where's the guarantee and who would be in charge of saying, look, we can 100% guarantee you if the video had, you know, does warrant being released, we can 100% guarantee you this was the full video from the dash cam. This was the full video from the body cam. You know, is, where's the absolute guarantee on that? Through the system, there's an audit trail. Who downloaded it, who opened it, who watched it, who did anything to it. There's restrictions on it, and it were essentially deleted, and that's all recorded. Even if you delete it, there's a record of that incident. And that we can pull up an audit trail as to who accessed that video. And the city, in general, Every keystroke that you make on a computer, we know what you did. So we have accountability measures in place, policies, redundancy, that essentially without a gross failure on a server, that video is going to be there. Thank you. Uh, is the officers uh, in charge of making sure those cameras are on? Or yes. are they going to be automatically on as they go on duty? No, it's going to be up to the officer. So yeah. we just don't have enough. There's there's not enough storage data to be having just continuous. So scouting. they're the ones that can manipulate whether they turn on and off, right? Yeah, and that's what we have policy in effect for. Yeah. And, and but we're what, diligent with with making sure that people are not following policy, whether it be disciplinary action or quite frankly, it's going to be a learning curve. Um, the first month, I know, I still because when I worked the street, when a vehicle stops, we didn't have any car cameras then. So I'll walk up and forget that there's audio and video going on. And, I realize it's like, hey, how are the kids? And they're like, oh, no, I'm recording a vehicle stop, sir. So it's one of those kind of things that it's going to be a learning curve, without a doubt. So I, I think the, the first implementation, we get the, the, the cameras out there, and this is a, a hot topic item, uh, it's a hot button item, that the officers are going to know, and they know for a fact that they are expected to wear and activate the camera. So there will, I'm sure, be some hiccups and some speed bumps in the road, but um, I believe we're going to have some pretty good compliance. So my backup question. Uh, these uh, devices run on batteries, am I correct? Correct. So, who's responsible to make sure they're fully charged while they're out there on their tour and there's no excuse if there's an incident and say, oh, okay. my. Well, they, they, have a, they have a 12 hour battery right of life. Uh, they're responsible for putting it into the docking station mm -hmm. and downloading it. Uh, part of the docking station is it's downloading the, the, the data, also charging the, the, uh, the camera at the same time. 
so they're only going to pick up a, unless there's a problem with the docking station itself, they're only going to pick up, you know, a camera that has a green light to it that is actually fully charged. Yeah, those cameras are assigned to that individual officer. Okay. So, if somebody takes a camera and by mistake, we're going to know whose camera it is. So, and also we have spare cameras as well, that if somebody comes in and if they work a 16 hour shift, and they're very busy on their first eight hours, and the battery's low, they'll be able to dock that and charge it um, to get either a full charge or take a spare camera out to use out on the street so we make sure that we have the full accountability. Have you guys tested these cameras with inclement weather? Yes, actually some of the video that we have is during the rain, and it's just like your backup camera on your car. If you have that that's raining out, it's gonna get blurry. So it's just to get one of the limitations that we face. They're water, resistant, they're not 100% waterproof. Right. 